Here are the assembly instructions for the Teleclipper. Here's a list of the tools that will be needed for assembly. First thing you'll need to do is cut the metal banding that secures the Teleclipper to the pallet. Next, you'll need to move the clipper head off of the pallet with pallet forks or other methods you may have. Next, lay the mount down so your equipment can move the mount to attach to the clipper head. Remove the six bolts and the hose cover from the clipper head. Next, you need to align the six holes on the end of the boom with the six holes on the clipper head. Use the alignment rod to help install the bolts. The two longer bolts go on top. Do not put nuts on the top two bolts at this time. Now you may tighten the two middle bolts. In order to tighten the two lower bolts, you'll need to move the cylinder. Raise the unit up off the ground for easier access. You can loosen the cylinder by removing the clevis pin on the right side of the cylinder. Swing the cylinder out of the way and tighten the two lower bolts. Make sure all four of the lower bolts are tight and now reconnect the cylinder. Connect the two quarter inch hoses to the 90 degree fittings on top of the actuator with a 9 16 inch open end wrench. The longer hose goes to the front. No pipe joint compound is required on any of these connections. Two wrenches will be required to hold and tighten all connections. Install the hose cover and tighten the remaining top two 5 8 inch bolts. You will need a socket extension to tighten these bolts. Connect the remaining two half-inch hoses to the cylinder. Pipe joint compound is not required.
assembly is now complete. To test the wireless operation, open the door on the metal box located on the mount. Remove the bag that has the owner's manual inside. Remove the key fob from the clear plastic bag. Next, push and hold the black toggle switch on top of the metal box for three seconds. You may hear a faint click. This has activated the receiver so that it can receive a signal from the transmitter or key fob. Now push the upper left hand button. You should hear a click. You may push the off button to turn off the wireless system or the system will turn itself off after two hours of non-operation. Repeat this process to turn the wireless system on again. The Teleclipper is now ready for use. Refer to the operator's manual for further instructions.